everybody, it's Tina. Happy Fairy Friday. Hope all is well with you. <laughs> I'm gonna you know, stretch it here a little bit. Like I said, always to build up an audience. Um, yeah, yesterday Uranus went retrograde, so I'm gonna talk about that. And it's Fairy Friday. Monday is a lunar eclipse. Hey, Liz, thanks for joining me. So there's a lot going on right now. Um, it's going to be a crazy month for August. Um, like I said, we have Uranus going retrograde. We have a lunar eclipse on Monday. And then on the 21st, we have a solar eclipse. So um, a lot of things going on. It's muggy here today. We've been, it started yesterday little cloud um, cover and we had some thunder and lightning last night so that was kind of cool kind of makes you nervous too because of the fires but um, and speaking of fires there's been a lot of fires up by my mom's way um, Modoc last I saw was close to 37,000 acres affected um, there's a big fire in Aden so if you guys can send some prayers up to Northern California way northern California um, for the firefighters and the people who live there and um, hope that they can pray that they can keep these fires contained and get them out and for everybody's safety hey Marlene thanks for joining me yeah it is the season of the fires so I, I pray for everybody affected with the fires everywhere so um, as usual, I have my printouts here about Uranus retrograde, and, um, and then I'll do the fairy reading. And I think this time, um, well, maybe I'll do the meditation in the middle, so that way we have something that kind of breaks it up. How about that? <laughs> but thanks for joining me, That you guys that are here live, and thank you for the, your, those that are going to watch the um, recording. I always appreciate your being here. Okay, the first one is what I, the article from Sage Goddess, Athena, and it's Uranus Retrograde, Set Yourself Free. And hey, Maya, thanks for joining me. You know, it's, I, we've always been taught that it's pronounced Uranus, but I guess it really is pronounced Uranus. <laughs> so um, I'm going to talk about that. Uranus begins its retrograde movement on August 3rd and continues until January 1st, so all the way till the end of this year. The transpersonal outer planets turning retrograde tend to impact us less personally than retrograde inner planets, but collective energy has an effect on everyone. Uranus retrograde is a regular cycle every year, lasting 155 days as the planet moves 4 degrees backwards through the zodiac. Uranus represents liberation, innovation, collective memory, change, revolution, unfettered spirit, mental brilliance, progression, eccentricity, I think I'm kind of eccentric, <laughs> and unconventionality. Sounds good to me. Um, the planet itself has an unusual orbit rolling on its side in space. It takes about 84 years to orbit the sun, spending approximately seven years in each astrological sign. Uranus also re represents trauma, especially collective memories of trauma held in the individual. This combination of personal and collective trauma and associated memories make Uranus activity prone to releasing anxiety and other psychological distress. Hey, Lori, thanks for joining me. Um, so that sounds good. Sounds like and yeah, we're going to relieve some of that. Linked with electricity and the nervous system, Uranus, see, going back to the old way of saying it, <laughs> placements and aspects in the natal chart, transits and progressions, ought to reflect areas of life and of the psyche where sudden change, disruption, rebellion, and stress manifest. Some of the signatures of trauma. On the flip side, Uranus Signatures also represent potential for genius, mind-blowing creativity. Uh, thanks for the heart, Lori. <laughs> and um, positively activated freedom to express ourselves authentic authentically. I 
talk. So, um, which is kind of interesting, you know, as you know, you know, I've talked about this several times with my dad contact me, I guess it's a couple of months now. It's sure releasing a lot of my childhood trauma and bringing a lot of that stuff up and letting me look at it, release it, and forgive my dad for not knowing any better and being an alcoholic um, and going through his own things. So this has been quite a year. A lot of good things, but a lot of, it's almost like the goddess Kali, a lot of chaos and stuff happening, but a lot of that needs to happen sometimes. We need a lot of things to break down for us to build new. So I feel like a lot of that old stuff is, for me personally, it's being broken down. Take away what no longer works for you so you can have a new foundation and create the life that you dream of. And like it says, so we can live um, authentically and share our messages. The common theme with Uranus is expect the unexpected. Uranian energy comes like a strike of lightning. It knocks us upside down until we are able to see from a new perspective. I know some people are dealing with that. <laughs> it literally shocks us into awareness or into disassociation depending on our state, circumstances, and choices. Sometimes disassociation is an act of self-preservation that temporarily saves our sanity. When we are not ready to have an experience, separating ourselves from it can be a lifesaver, allowing us to function without breaking down or completely shutting down. At some point, these fractured memories will need to be integrated. So at some point, you gotta look at them and deal with them. Uranus retrograde is a prime time for internal change. This internal change is often prompted by external changes in our lives. I, I know some of you are knowing what I'm talking about here. During retrogrades, we have the opportunity to revisit, reclaim, revision, and reconnect with the energy represented by the planet. With Uranus, we can tap into our own sense of freedom and individuality. Uranus wants us to unlock any cages around us so we can fly with our own wings in our own direction and in our own time. It wants us to be fully who and what we are without restriction. I love that. I love that. I know that I have some things that I've, you know, comfort zones and stuff that I need to break through so I can really be free and really express myself. Um, some of the things I want to do in the future is um, go live more days and talk about other things with you guys. And I'm kind of feeling called. This is going to be the way down the road because um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But I want to work with children who have gifts. I think that's something I got called to do that the other day um, to help them develop their gifts and also how to protect themselves. Um, protect yourself, but also let the light in. <laughs> so that's something that I've had to deal with this um, my life. And when I was younger, uh, so many things scared me about my gifts and the visions and things that came to me that I completely shut myself down so I wasn't getting anything. So I still have a little bit of block because I think I've really built a protection of a wall of protection around me. But I'm working through that and I want to help kids be able to not fear their gifts but know how to embrace them, how to protect themselves so they don't have scary things happen, and then how to work with these gifts. So um, that's something that I would really like to do. So anyways, uh, back to our thing. During these next five months, we may shock ourselves by discovering more of what we're really made of and how we react to life. Collective memories of battle and fighting to, for our freedom, our lives, and our right to explore our instinctual nature and desires may trigger a disassociated traumatic, traumatic personal memories. With compassion and awareness, we can choose to allow these memories back in our field, integrating them for, from a new context. From here, we empower ourselves by freeing up our energy to flow spontaneously, aligned with our true nature. Sounds good. As we continue to wake up to our own energy and how we want to use it, this Uranus retrograde period will likely throw us curveballs and challenge our independence and freedom to express our original thoughts, intuitions, and visions for the future. 
Uranian energy on its own is not weighted down by expectations or trapped in cloaks of convention. It is not encumbered by form. It is the best example we have of truly free thinking. It has nothing to prove to anyone else. It's, it is not concerned with ownership or preserving its reputation. Uranus as an archetype is unbound. I, I, for me, I like that energy. And that's what I've been trying to really embrace this year is not worrying about my reputation. And, you know, doing these were, were really hard at first because I know some people think I'm a quack and crazy for doing this. And, you know, some people are like, what is this Tina's doing? Talking to fairies. What's that all about? Because um, they just don't understand. And, you know, I can't hide anymore. I got to bring my messages and bring the fairy world out. That They're really... Um, the fairies really want us to work with them. So that's another thing I'm going to be doing too, is doing fairy classes. Um, and that's a scary one because a lot of people believe in angels, but they don't believe in fairies. They think it's a whole different thing. I connect them with nature angels. Um, so it kind of is the same thing. So, yeah, so, you know, people think I'm crazy. If I am, I love my craziness. <laughs> I'd rather be my happy craziness than be in the dark. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I, I appreciate your guys' being here. Yeah, welcome to the club. <laughs> Thanks for the love. Yeah, let's all be crazy together. It's a lot more fun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, let's be unbound and free and open up our cages. That just sounds so exciting to me. Doesn't it? I'm just like, ah, let's be free. It just, ah, it just makes me want to breathe easier too. Uh, can you feel me? <laughs> so, um, imagine yourself stepping into a new paradigm, stepping into the unknown where you have room to show up as you wish. Oh, that sounds exciting. The full card in the tarot is associated with Uranus or Uranus. Yeah, because that step, the tr fool is just stepping into the unknown. Many images of this card show a person with a look of naivety carrying a small satchel about to step off a cliff. This is a card of new beginnings where trust is required. Trust in yourself. And it doesn't say here in trust in the universe. Trust that the universe and the angels have your back because they do. Especially when you fo follow those hunches. They're, they're giving you get, um, messages and hunches for you to follow on. The small bag carried by the fool contains all that she needs from the past. She is not leaving everything behind, but she has to let go of enough to return to a place of innocence and natural wonder. I like that. Beginner's mind and true wisdom go hand in hand. Insanity and brilliance are facets, facets of the same gemstone. Uranus retrograde encourages us to emancipate ourselves. We each know deep inside how we are imprisoned and who holds the key to our cage. And usually that's just us, right? We hold the key to our cage. Using this time to unlock ourselves may feel a little crazy, but if we proceed with kindness and courage, we'll access more of our original selves and new ways of existing and using our life force. Once Uranus turns direct, we'll likely see the external manifestation of the changes we've gone through during its retrograde. The outside will reflect the inside. What we, what we create within emerges without. Liberating your mind, heart, body, and our spirit may lead to changes in your relationships, routine, work, creative endeavors, endeavors sorry, interests, and other adventures. Uranus stands for you who simply want to be who you are, and live as you are, celebrating and advocating independence, authenticity, and ingenu ingenuity. I can't say that word. Again, that sounds exciting to me. It sounds like an adventure, you know? You, well, if you watch adventure movies, you know, they have hard times, and that's part of the adventure, the adventure of life. We have the hard times, so how are you going to meet those bad times? What are you going to do? How are you going to go through those? So you can have the joy alongside it. Um, Sounds exciting to me. Um, there's another article too. But one of the things I want to talk about is the innocence is, you know, looking at the world through the eyes of a child. 
some just looking at insects like that was the first time you saw them or flowers it really taps you into joy and that innocence and that sense of wonder um, I got to share a cute story our next door neighbor he's two and <laughs> I was wondering, there's little plastic things on the sidewalk. I'm like, what are those? And I went to get the mail. So, so cute. The night before the garbage man came, he put out those little garbage cans. It's so cute. Hey, Marisol, thanks for joining us. So um, that was really cute. Now he's putting out a little, um, oh, it, it, it just, I'm almost tearing up out of joy. Um, mailbox he has a little mailbox that he's trying to put out so I'm gonna get stickers and stuff and stick it in there so um, he'll get something in his mailbox and I think that's kind of cool and again that brings you into that sense of play so just watching children and seeing what they do is just get you in touch with that playfulness and that sense of wonder and now now I'm excited because I want to be part of that and I, I feel very blessed to be able to do that and I told my husband about it, and that just brought him tons of joy, too. He took pictures and told the garbage man about it when the garbage man came, and he got a kick out of it. So, very cool. Okay, so, I feel like I need a little stretch. Let's read the second one. Uranus goes retrograde, everything turns upside down. And this is from Astro Butterfly. Uranus turns retrograde on August 3rd, like I said, at 28 degrees Aries and stations direct on January 2nd at 24 degrees Aries. The world won't literally turn upside down with Uranus's station, but Uranus stationary retrograde will definitely bring a lot of surprises, especially now in the middle of the eclipse season. Uranus is different. Uranus is nothing like other planets. The only way to understand Uranus is to not try to understand it at all. <laughs> Just let it be. At least not with our mercurial facts-driven mind. Uranus is the flash of insight that comes from the sky. It does not come from your mind or from the world around you. Not from the word as you know it. It comes from the sky above. I love that. Uranus is all about surprises. You cannot understand Uranus, prepare for Uranus, master Uranus. The nature of Uranus is change, and its role is to take you by surprise and turn your life upside down. Will that be possible if you will attempt to tame Uranus to prepare for it? No. Uranus energy comes like a strike of lightning, kind of like the last article. Uranus, it is literally the strike of lightning from the sky. Roy Sullivan, nicknamed Human Lightning Conductor, the man who has been struck by lightning for a record of seven times and survived them all, has his chart ruler, Mercury, in a very tight conjunction to Uranus at zero degrees, Aquarius. Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius. Wow, that's, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Uranus is the opposite of Saturn. If with Saturn you know what you are going to get, with Uranus... Or Uranus, you never know what you're going to get. If Saturn rewards hard work and punishes you when you don't put the effort, Uranus can bring your fortune even when you're, you don't deserve it. I kind of like that. And can change and can disrupt your life even if you've done everything right. Uranus will make sure that change happens whether you like it or not. So prepare for change. You're, that's one thing you can count on, right? This change. Uranus is about freedom, innovation, collective memory, sudden change, sudden illumination, breakthroughs, disruption, creativity, liberation, about your true, authentic self. Sounds like we're going to learn a lot about ourselves, too, from now until the end of this year. While Uranus Direct is a time to make changes in your environment, in the outside world, Uranus Retrograde is a time for internal change. This is a time to revisit and reconnect with your sense of freedom. This time it is you who needs to change, not the world around you. Uranian energy is like a scissor which cuts the ties of attachment from the past and pushes you to experience the world from a completely different perspective. The shift will take place in the realm of the unconscious. Resist the temptation to overanalyze your thoughts and actions. Remember, it is not Mercury which turns retrograde, with Uranus, the shift takes in 
your subtle mind. Allow the universe to talk to you in its language, not in yours. Uranus station can be experienced in a myriad of ways, depending on which house in your natal chart is currently transited by Uranus, and also which planets or angles in your natal chart are activated by Uranus. You can expect one of the following ways Uranian energy can play out. And if you're ever interested in what your moon sign is, what your Venus sign is, um, gosh, just look up free natal chart and you need to know what time you were born and where you were born. Um, and I think that's enough to get you all that information. I can't remember the free site, but if you just look up free natal chart, it will give you all that information. It's really kind of interesting. Okay. This is the following ways um, Uranian energy can play out. Freedom. Uranus is all about allowing your spirit to flow freely, unrestricted by false demands or pretense. Uranus stationary retrograde will bring you the key to your cage once you understand that only freedom that is is, in, that is, is inside you already. So you already have the freedom in there. You just got to unlock it. You can claim me, you can torture me, you can even destroy this body, but we will never imprison my mind. That's Gandhi. Yeah, you can never, your soul can never be destroyed. Reboot. Think of, think on electricity. Its nature is on and off. Zero and one. Uranus will teach you that you can be 100% on in a moment and then completely switch off and reboot. Whatever you do, start with a beginner's mind. A good visualization exercise is to imagine you're an alien. <laughs> you landed on Earth and you want to understand what the human race is all about. That's kind of cool. Alien or newborn baby. I kind of like the newborn baby, but alien works too. <laughs> Approach life with curiosity. Back to looking at the world in a child's mind. A desire to get real and be honest with yourself. No more lies, no more comfort. It is time to face the fears that hold you back. Get real about what you want, embrace your heart's desire, and go after it. Become the person who you really want to be. I've been telling you, this is the year for that. Um, a desire to completely change your life. You, if you are unhappy with your job, change it. If you are not happy with your relationship, leave it. Do whatever you need to do, change the things that aren't working, and move on to something better. Trauma. Uranus station can bring into your awareness some long forgotten memories. Any issues that you or your ancestors, Uranus rules genetic memory, and that's where the, the fam, getting rid of that family karma, have not been dealt with, can come to surface now and bring healing. Again. Um, I'm just giving you examples of what I'm going through. My dad, you know, family healing. That's a lot of healing is going on with that. Anxiety. And it's healing with my mom, too. Hearing, hey, Lisa, thanks for joining us. Hearing what I'm going through dealing with my dad is bringing up stuff for her. So it's bringing her healing, too. Anxiety. Because of the disruptive quality of Uranus, we can experience fear and anxiety. Remember, it is absolutely normal to experience fear and anxiety when you are about to change something in your life. Make friends with your anxiety and let it propel you forward. Flashes of in intuitive energy, so it's going to be a good psychic time for us. The higher guidance can come to you out of nowhere. Situations that seemed impossible will, be, will begin to work themselves out. Uranus wants to liberate your mind from dogmas so you can think free. Think freely. A free mind has nothing to prove to anyone. It is what is, and it is not what it's not. And it is fine with that. <laughs> I like that. Truly accepting yourself and your opinions. And So when it... Stations retrograde, Uranus applies a trine to the north node of purpose at 24 degrees in Leo. This is a truly positive aspect and will bring sudden opportunities in your life, opportunities that are aligned with your soul's des destined per path. Sorry. Make sure you recognize them and take advantage of them. Again, that sounds exciting to me. I, I think 
like I said, this is the year, a year to make things happen. And it's not much left, a little less than half a year now. People born in earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or people with a lot of earth in their chart can find this intense Urian energy difficult to deal with. Whereas people born in air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, in mutable signs, Gemini, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, or people with a lot of air or mutable planets in their chart will thrive during the Uranus station. If you have personal planets or angles at 28 degrees in Aries or Libra, your life will experience profound changes now. This is not only because Uranus hits your chart directly, but also because the Uranus plays a major role in the two eclipses we have in August. Next Monday, like I said, uh, Uranus is the ruler of the moon eclipse on August 7th. And the Uranus also hits the solar eclipse in, in Leo on August 21st in a perfect angle. Look in which house the transit takes place to get more insights. So, wow. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. You guys have gotten a little quiet. Are you like blown away, scared? <laughs> so I can get rid of another message here. Whew. Yeah, it um, sounds exciting to me. It also sounds you know, a little scary, of course. Change is always a little scary. Um, but I like the idea of getting, becoming more of who we are and again, hopefully facing those fears and bringing our gifts out to the world. I want to see more and more of you do that, please. <laughs> any questions? Any comments? Are you guys just like, oh, wow. <laughs> what is this going to mean? I know part of me is doing that. Like, okay, what changes are going to happen in, in the net until January 1st? What? Like, they say, you can't prepare for it. So what surprises does Uranus have for me? <laughs> I'm sure that's what you're saying to yourself, right? Oh, I picked those up a little early. Okay, I guess you guys are no questions or anything. So let's prefer, prepare for our meditation. Go ahead, put your feet on the ground. Put our spine straight, shoulders back, palms up. Let's breathe that all in. Wow. Okay. So let's close our eyes. Breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. And breathe in. Hold and then ah, sigh it out. Ah. <laughs> uh, I know, Maya, but I, I, I think there's no place to hide. That's the scary part. <laughs> we can't hide. It's time to face it all and find that key to unlock ourselves. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and it's funny. I know some people that are going through some major changes right now. So... Uranus has already given people surprises even before it went retrograde. Okay. Yeah, let's go hide in a cave. <laughs> if it could be that easy, right? Go hide in a cave till January 1st. And just wish everybody Happy New Year. And <laughs> the new me after being in the cave. I'm sure you'll have changes in there somehow, no matter how you, like I said, there's no escaping, I guess. Okay, let's see what the fairies have for us this weekend. I had a vision of the fairies, kind of like Tinkerbell, going around. You know, I've talked about that before. So um, they're spreading their magic. And I feel that, you know, 
yeah, you're gonna have the surprises, but the fairies are gonna be spreading their magic and helping you in the background. The angels are gonna be helping you, of course. Um, just keep working with them and ask them for signs. And just trust, trust yourself and trust the universe that will get through this and oh, just think we're going to be brand new people January 1st for the new year. Hey, Pam, thanks for joining us. I just finished talking about um, Uranus retrograde. You might want to watch from the beginning because it, it's pretty interesting. Um, basically, I, I can't really wrap it up a whole lot, but... Um, you're going to bring a lot of changes ahead, a lot of surprises, changes, and becoming more into our authentic self. Hey, Tracy, thanks for joining us. So, okay. Okay, fairies, whoops. Well, we got a bonus. I guess we need a bonus with all that, have, that crazy news. <laughs> what do you have for us today? What message do you have? What, what do you want us to know going into this weekend? They don't want to play nicely. These are harder to hold on to because it's like 78 cards. Oh my God. They're flying all over the place. Maybe they really would like to tell us a lot of things. <laughs> okay. And... You know, it's kind of humid today, so I feel like my hands are sticking to them, too, so. Okay, so I feel that's good. <laughs> okay, I like... <laughs> it's okay, Tracy, I'm glad you're here now. I'm giggling. Okay, the card that flew out is Renewal. Review the past and the present so you can plan a new future. Understanding your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourself and others. Isn't that what we were just talking about? I got goosebumps. I. You saw me shuffle, you saw me go through the cards. I can't make this stuff up. Isn't that crazy? So, wow, a lot of stuff going here. That's always rebirth, um, renewal. And it looks like he's getting all the fairies and animals surrounding him as he's not. It looks like he's planning for the future, writing things down. But it look, yeah, you know, like I said, a lot of stuff is going to be coming up. A lot of um, past traumas, and we're going to have a new life at beginning Jan January first because of this. Uranus retrograde so that the angels are letting us know that yep, right now is the time to review the past let go of what's not serving you integrate what does um, time to work through any old stuff that you wish that you could just forget about it's going to come to the surface you need to deal with it look at it at a new, new perspective Uranus is going to help us look at it at a new perspective and we're going to unlock the cage and become more of our authentic self, just like Uranus was, retrograde was telling us. So, wow, 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 wow. So and when, here, when releasing judgments of yourself and others, that to me brings us back to forgiveness. It's, to, again, I, I, you know, I, I talk about this all the time. This is self-forgiveness and forgiveness of other people. Um, it's time to let go of the judgment and just forgive them and let them go and try to look at things in a different perspective and see, try to be in their shoes, what it would have been like to be them at that moment. And it kind of helps. It really does. It kind of helps to know I'm learning a lot more about my dad's childhood and that's even bringing more um, clarity and helping me forgive him more and be more understanding of him being an alcoholic and him not being able to deal with kids as a teenage father. So, um, oh, thanks for the love. So I think that's what that's about too. It's time to let go of judgment, let go of, for, just forgive, um, 
get past those. It doesn't mean you have, you know, if he was, if he hasn't changed, he's really has changed and we're still learning to trust. But if he was the same person he was last time I talked to him, I would have totally let him go and say, you know, we're done. But he has changed, so we're working through that. So it doesn't mean that you have to have that person in your life. If they're toxic, if they're bad, you can forgive them and let them go, send blessings and say, I send you love and blessings on your way. Getting hot in my hand. So um, forgiveness doesn't mean that you have to have them in your life. So again, I feel that forgiveness. And with that, you will feel renewed. You will feel like a new person. It really does help. Um, so yeah, I, I really feel that we're, again, this year is the year of being becoming more of ourselves, not being afraid to shine and showing, hey, this is who I am. You know, I, I, I'm happy with myself. Accept me, not accept me. I'm okay. I sleep well at night. I'm happy with myself. I want that for everybody to just be like, you know, this is me. I'm happy being me. And I hope you can love me too as being me. But if not, I'm okay with that. <laughs> And this is the card, our bonus card that jumped out is Nine of Summer. Wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. And I love this one. That's why I smiled. Is um, I always feel like this is the fairy godmother helping her. And look at all the magic that's around her. So with change, hey Carrie, thanks for joining us. We're just wrapping it up. Um, with change... Uh, my, my mind just went blank. Anyway, um, it is a magical time and it's, it's scary and you know, we go through that, but it's, things are happening. A lot of times we need th those changes and to bring the good in our life. And I, again, I feel like maybe it's not going to ha really happen until the end of this year. Um, but I do feel that they're, they're still working their magic behind the scenes for us. Our wishes are going to come true. We just need to get through working through things inside and out for those to happen. We're going to have to deal with the change and the chaos and work through things. The other card I got, Carrie, was Renewal. Um, this is about review the past and present and the present so you can plan the new future, understanding your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourself and others. Um, this is about you know getting renewed, letting go of what doesn't serve you, forgiving people so you can have a sense of renewal. And I also feel that the change, you know, if you listen to the beginning, what's going on with um, Uranus retrograde, all the changes, the surprises that it's gonna bring, it's going to have, we're gonna be a new person starting January 1st and I believe that a lot of good we're going to be a, a new person in a good way we're going to be more of our th authentic selves we're going to express ourselves more we're going to set ourselves free I love that hopefully we'll be less bound and we'll be ready to just take on 2018 <laughs> as our new ourselves and more magic magic along the way the fairies and the angels are still working behind the scenes so they can make our wishes come true. Just like Urena said, you can't control it, so you gotta let it go. Trust in yourself and trust in the universe that everything's happening, everything happens for a reason. Let go, surrender, don't fight it. It's all gonna be good, all good stuff coming. So, phew, that's just, the, you know, it just blows me away how these just really reflect what um, I was talking about with Uranus retrograde. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, any questions, comments? Okay, a lot to take in today, huh? But exciting. I find it exciting. Scary, but exciting. <laughs> and, it, you know, we're being asked to push past that fear push our comfort zones so we really can shine and bring our gifts to the world. I really want you guys to do that. So with that, um, what's coming up? Monday, like I said, is, I wanted to say Fairy Monday, <laughs> is 
the lunar eclipse. So I'll talk about that on Monday and how that's going to affect us. Um, so we have that coming up Monday. Next Friday, I am going to be flying to Hawaii. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to squeeze one in Friday or not. I'm bringing my cards with me. So I'm either going to try to do one Friday afternoon, which I think, I, I can't remember how far ahead they are in Hawaii. Um, yeah, it's just me. It's not my family. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to try to squeeze it in Friday when I get to Hawaii. We're going to be tired. We're leaving really early in the morning. Um, or if I will do like Ferry Saturday. But I plan on doing that. And then I will do Mondays in Hawaii. And I'll be there Friday. Oh, thank you. They're three. That's what I thought. I thought they were three hours ahead. So if I do the reading, you know, like three o'clock in the afternoon there, it'll be six o'clock. They're three hours behind. We're three hours ahead. Because, um, yeah, when it's nine o'clock here, it's six o'clock in the morning over there. Because you can, I, uh, when I first get over there, I always like it because you can sleep in and feel like you've really slept in and it's still early in the morning. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I'm going to work it out. It will, I will be bringing you messages um, while I'm there. So, yeah. So, kind of looking forward to that. Um, so, that's going on. Have a great weekend. Thanks again for joining me. Um, I have... Yes, th thanks Tracy. Um, yeah, if you want a reading, I have a couple of spaces this weekend, and maybe one or two next week. So if you do want a reading, let me know, and I'll fit that in um, with my time. It's going to be crazy preparing. Oh, th thanks Tracy. <laughs> it's okay, Maya. Thanks for the love, Tracy. Um, yeah, so I'll. I'll we can work it out and fit that in, but probably when I'm in Hawaii, I'm not sure if I'll have time to do readings for anybody. So now's the chance to get them before I leave. And Wednesday will be the last day I can do anything because Thursday Seth has his infusion. So I'm going to be busy all day doing that and doing last minute things. So that's enough about me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. I, you, you don't know how much it means to me to have your guys' support, for you guys being here live and then watching the recordings. Um, knowing you support me makes me want to share my message more and more and I feel exciting things com coming and I want to do some online classes and I think you guys will enjoy that, some meditation and maybe some fairy learning. Um, so yeah, when I well, thank, thanks, Tracy. Um, yeah, so when I come back, I'm hoping to, because that'll be the last major trip, I will really bunker down and start getting things going. Okay? So with that, have a beautiful weekend. Thanks again, everybody. I love you. And I'll see you Monday for the lunar eclipse. <laughs> August is a crazy month. A lot going on. But we can handle it, right? We've been preparing for it all year, I think. Okay. Take care. We'll talk. See you Monday. Bye.